Hi all, I've just come out to the field here just to do a bit of a test here on a new app that I've come across. So this video here is, is purely f if you've got an Android phone because um, I'm going to show you Drone Harmony, the app Drone Harmony and the great things it does but it doesn't work at this stage uh, on iOS. I'm not sure why and I don't know whether it's coming out but if you're interested in this app and you've got an iOS, it's pointless at this moment. Keep an eye on it though, because I'm assuming they'll bring it out eventually. It's crazy that they wouldn't. So yeah, sorry about that. Only for an Android phone only. But this um, this app uh, lets you plot missions as an alternative to the to the DJI Go 4 app. Um, I'm flying the Mavic. Um, and Litchi, I use I use the both of them. Uh, I just thought this might be good because you can hit the plus bottom uh, down the bottom right hand corner here, which opens up uh, your catalog of plans. So you can do inspections. You've got nine inspections. You've got eight shapes, two quick, and four manual. So basically, if you want to do any um, capturing of uh, 3D. Uh, models and that sort of stuff like a houses or um, uh, or factories buildings whatever you can do it through here there's quite a lot of quite a lot of um, different options you can choose from here circle an area uh, eclipse and I just I just sort of I'm not too interested in that at the moment but I want to try some of these new shapes that we've got so we've got orbit mode Panoramic, Orbit, there's also the Helix, uh, there's a Panoramic, Helix, Parabolic Reveal, Parabolic Reverse Reveal, Horizontal Parabolic Reveal, Flatland, a Cinematic Circular or Parabolic Flight above a point of interest designed for creating Flatland images. So there's a lot of interesting ones here. Uh, just got my got my uh, attention when I went through some of the uh, apps so I thought I'd give this one a go a quick tab here let you do a rocket and a zoom out which is a bit like a droney by the sounds of that dramatic zoom out reveal by flying backwards so I'm going to try a few of these now um, I want to try the helix in particular I might even try the rocket we'll see too manual creating manual waypoints that um, I think I'll still probably use Litchi for that because that's pretty good. There's, there's quite a few little options here. Record points of interest. So you can basically fly as you're doing a, a flight. You can set in points of interest along the way and re, relive these missions again. There's a lot of little things you can do. So what we'll do, we'll start off. We might start off and try and do... Try and do a helix, I think, just to start with. We'll have a look. So we click the helix option. Okay, so it wants you to... So it's saying zoom in closer on map. So if I zoom into where I am here, we'll zoom in a bit closer here. It's roughly where we are. Now we'll try it. Go to shapes. Yeah, see, it's opened them up. So we'll click on helix. Uh, set the lift off. So click click on the map to select the location for the lift off. So we want to do that we're pretty much right where we are there. Might just move it out a little bit. Uh, set center. So the center of our of our uh, helix we want to do. So we'll center it. We might make it come out just a little bit. We'll get it to fly out to about there, I think, and it'll start doing its circle. We'll submit. Now, that's what it's going to do. It's going to do an orbit radius of 15 metres, height helix of 40 metres, and a relative start altitude of 3 metres. So what I might do, I'll make it start... I might just go up to 5 metres to start the helix. So we'll click the plus sign, bring that up to 5. The height of the helix, we might go up to... How about we go up to 50 metres? And the radius, we might bring it out a little bit, make it a bit 
bigger so let's say 20 meters how about that it should be fine here and then we generate this hit the generate button and that's basically ready to go you you click the helix option here and it shows you on the map where it's going to be flying and that looks like it's fairly good and to start it off once you connect the drone up you just click the uh, bottom right hand corner play button and that'll start it off so this app here like i said you just got to press the red play button to start it off you can also uh you can also get out of let's turn the controller on you can also get out of the app or any mission that you're in the in the middle of if you find that the craft's in danger just by flicking it into sport mode okay it's saying drone connected everything's connected up batteries good sd card so we're ready to go we'll close that up like i said if you want to abort you just hit hit, hit you just flick it into um flick it out flick it out of gps mode and put it into sport mode what you can also do is, is on the bottom of the left hand side there's a cube so if you click that it shows you a 3d model of what we're doing and where we're going i want to make sure we've got everything how are we going with our satellites it's showing 19 satellites here i'm in p mode let's have a look and we'll see what we can do so we hit the play button now and it's giving us some options here speed and camera set the flight speed of eight kilometers an hour that will do me just make it slow during the flight we want it to record a video autofocus yes we'll click next okay return to home altitude uh 30 meters i think is fine here set the mission end we'll make it just hover i don't want it to auto land set the signal loss continue mission your control automatic set the gimbal control mode to automatic and that's basically it so you can animate it and it's going to show you what it's going to do okay important for emergency stop to change to another flight mode using rc example sport mode the mission will be terminated and the drone will start hovering in place so that's important to know phantom of course is uh, the same thing okay next it's showing everything is in good condition to go launch drone so we'll have a look and we'll see how we go here it's uploading the data now to the drone little yellow bar going up okay the drone's ready to start so it's hovering up now let's just see what it does it's going out the screen recording started. The only thing is, I think we have. Okay, now auto. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to. Might have to abort this because it's coming back a little bit to where I'm not too keen on. Let's just see how we go here. Oh no, I think it's high enough. Yeah, no, it's fine. So this is the helix we're doing here. There's a light post below I was a bit wondering about. You can't adjust the gimbal while the, while this um, is, is in progress. So it's doing a 20 meter wide circle and it will go up 50 meters. So we're going up, we're at 16, 17 meters now. Everything looks good. It uh, seems to be quite a good, a good shot. Obviously, I didn't put myself in the center here. This is just a trial. I've just added a, a, a random point on the ground here as a center focus point. I just, want to, just wanted to see what the drone's actually going to do. So it's doing a helix at the moment. It will go up to 50 meters and do four or five turns, I believe. Yes, it's finished now. It's coming above. 
it should descend down to 30 meters and hover that's a nice reveal it's showing so it's land coming down now that will come down to about 30 meters and should just hover okay so next what I want to try is a different mode so what we'll do is erase the helix we just done so you click the little trash can there it erases everything what we might try next is let's see okay we might try how about we do orbit next let's try an orbit okay set lift off click the map to select the lift off so we'll lift off let's say over here somewhere Next, click on the map to select a central location point. And what we'll do, we'll set it to orbit around a truck down here. Let's see if we can do that. This map isn't quite up to date. So I'm not too sure whether that's going to work anyway. What we'll do, we'll set it about here. altitude we want to go up we want to go up about 30 meters and then the skew you can skew it if you like just like that if you want a, a not a perfect circle skew axis coverage angle 360 ellipse rotation start angle I'm not sure zero is whether that's the gimbal or not clockwise rotation so we'll, we might try that and we'll generate this. So there we go. That's our orbit. It's going out. And it should do a circle somewhere out around these little workplace there. Okay, so let's play that. We'll record the video again. Autofocus. Focus. I don't think I'll autofocus at this time. Next. Return to home altitude 30 meters is fine. Set signal loss. That's all exactly the same. So we'll continue there. So we'll animate it and just show you what it's going to do. Oops, yeah, there we go. So there we go, that's our animation. To do one loop around. I'm not sure where the camera is pointing, that's all. Is it pointing in the, I guess it's pointing at the central spot I selected, I'd imagine. Okay, let's, let's try it again. We're in GPS mode, so that's all good. And we'll launch the drone. So that's going up now to 30 meters. Let's have a look here and see what we get here. So there's a, see the truck down there? I was trying to roughly target that, but I don't think I have. So it should do a loop. It's going out, it's at 30 meters, that's what I, selected it to do so it's going to do an orbit around the point of interest that I've given it it should be roughly around where that truck is there it's very smooth I'll give it that okay here it goes so it's going okay so it's going clockwise so it went out to the point and now it's doing a a loop around that point of interest here that I've selected it to do. So it's basically, this is just the same as circle mode in any other app, like Litchi or the DJI. I believe they all have them. 
but that's quite good. Making a, a circle, orbiting around that central point there in the centre quite well. Again, you can't control the gimbal pitch, it's auto automatic. All you can do is just watch and wait for the for the mission to finish. <clears throat> so that's quite good. That's coming back, I think, now. That's finished now. So it's going to come back. It's slowly coming back. And I'll, again, I'll land it. I'll abort it and I'll, uh, I'll land it manually. So that is orbit mode for drone harmony. Okay, so we'll do another one. Let's see, we'll um, erase a circle. Uh, what have we got now? Let's try panoramic orbit, <coughs> outward looking, circular or elliptical tra trajectory around a point. We've got helix, panoramic helix. How about a panoramic helix? We'll try a panoramic helix. Try a panoramic helix. Select the liftoff point. Let's take it out a little bit. Okay, the center point for the helix. We'll just take it out a little bit, just away from everything. Submit that. Orbit radius, we'll go out to 20 again because it worked before. 40 meters, we'll go out to 50 again, same as before. Relative start al altitude of 3 meters, that's fine, it worked. Number of revolutions is 3. Do you want 3 or 4? We'll go 3 again. I think that's fine. And it's going in a clockwise direction, so you can alter that as well if you want. Okay, let's give this one a go. Panoramic Helix. Okay, we should be right here. Let's have a go. Again, we can abort if we have to. We'll record a video again. Flight time, it's showing it's four minutes long. Hold up. So you've got all your info here. Automatic focus, I don't want that again. Um, Return to home is 30 meters. That's all good. Set gimbal control mode automatic or manual. So if you, I'm guessing if you select manual, which I might try for this one, you should be able to control the gimbal pitch. So we'll have a bit of a look at that. And we'll animate that. So that's what it's going to do. And then come back up. Okay. Flight mode sport, so it's telling me there I'm in sport mode, so I've got to flick it in back into GPS into P mode to activate this mission. So let's launch the drone. Success. Okay, so we're off again. And yes, I can I can I can adjust the gimbal now. I just had to go. So that's going to be showing everything that's facing us at the moment. And it should do the same sort of helix, but instead of looking down at us. Okay, recording started. It's coming up. I'm not sure how this is going to go here. Let's see. It's, it's light poles got me worried again. So we can we can adjust our gimbal down. You see us? Let's see, are we going all right with this? Yes, we are. It's all good. There's my pole I was worried about. Okay, so that's going to be good. That's going to come up and do... I'm adjusting the gimbal pitch, okay? So if you want to do it that way, you, um, you can reveal the shot manually. So that's how we'll have it set as it's going up. So it's basically, it's a reverse 
helix, it's, 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 it's just got the drone facing the opposite direction with this helix showing everything outside. So you can adjust the gimbal right down again. I was doing this. So we come back around above us. There we are. I really like this app. Would I use it over the Go app or Litchi? In certain circumstances, yes. I, th I still think Litchi's got the best waypoints. If you want to do waypoint missions, I think Litchi still has the best waypoints. But this has a few more options over Litchi and the Go 4 app with these different modes you can choose. Which um, is the reason why I think I might buy this app. Adds a, f adds a, f adds a few more options to your uh, to your flight, automated flight. Also, the sensors still work. Um, I've got the Mavic Pro, so I don't have the rear and side sensors, but sensors all still work. But you can create some nice smooth smooth video footage I think using this. It's quite nice. We're just about finished. We're at 48 meters now. It's a beautiful day up here. Okay, I believe we should be finished. We've got a cockatoo in the area here. Unless he doesn't doesn't bother my my craft, I'll be happy. Okay, so that's all finished. It's, it's coming down now. So again, I'll uh, I'll flick it back in out of the. Uh, Mission, I mean back into sport mode. Okay, so we're going to try the rocket. I've only got 46% battery left now, so I've got more batteries in the car if we need to. But... Okay, tap on the camera for FPV view. Up the top, that's more like it. Okay. So we should be good to do the rocket now. I'll do, I'll bring it above me. And we'll rotate, we'll go into camera mode. Okay, we'll rotate down, get me in the picture, and then we'll do a rocket. Okay, I'll get in the middle. Okay. Have a look. Quick rocket, 55 meters, ascend speed, we'll want to go off a bit quicker than that, 2 meters will do. Rotation, I'll rotate it a little bit and we'll do a quick launch. Launching the flight plan and we can click back into our video mode and off we go. So that's that's our, uh, our rocket. See you later. So it's got a slight, a slight rotation to it. And that's it. That's the end of our rocket there. I've taken back over manually again because it doesn't bring itself back down. So we'll, we'll bring it down ourselves. So that was rocket mode. I think we'll do one more and we'll call it at that. I just wanted to check out a few of these... A few of these features on this app. So I'm looking at buying it. I 
with an additional tool. So we'll land it down. That's finished. So we'll land it down. We'll get out of camera mode, back into map mode. We'll delete, clear all the flights. So one more to one more to finish off. Well, how about we try the zoom out? We'll just try the droney to finish off. So we've got to launch this one from the air to start with. And we'll do a droney to finish off. I'll set our camera up first, so I'll put me in the centre. go back to map mode and we'll go into quick and zoom out is the one we want so flight distance 18 meters we'll go out I'll make it a bit further than that we'll go out to let's say 50 meters flight speed highest flight altitude of 11 why only 11 Quickly launch it from there. Okay, and we'll play it from there. Let's have a look. Let's record. Next, everything should still be the same, but we'll double check. Gimbal mode, automatic. That's fine. Next, animate it just to make sure going out and back up. So let's play that and we'll see how it turns out. Main position 7 metres. So that's our drone here. Let's see if we're in centre. Yes, we're in centre. It's a bit slow, <laughs> but you can speed that up. So see us later, that's the end of this, that's all we're going to do for the moment. Drone Harmony, it's not a bad app, I, I can say I'd recommend it. Would I put it over Litchi or the Go 4 app? I don't know, in some instances yes. Um, especially doing little uh, simple shots like we're doing here, I think it's pretty handy. If you don't want to do it manually. Um, as for waypoints, I, I don't know, I, I've, I've tried to plan a few waypoints and I think Litchi is the better one for that. So yeah, thanks for that everyone. We'll catch us, catch us next time. Stay safe. See ya.